Hello there friends and welcome! Today we are going to fight an Octicula on Unfair on the Demon Mystic path. This is actually a very unique battle, as you only get to fight an Octicula either on the Demon or the Trickster Mystic paths, the other paths can't fight her at all. And honestly, she is by far the strongest of the Demon Lords you face in the game, mostly because of her very unique ability Seductive Presence. And also the fact she begins the battle by casting Whale of the Banshee, there's not really a way to become immune to this, and if you fail the saving throw, well, you're going to take more than 800 damage, which is enough to one-shot any of your characters. And last stand will not bypass this, so unless you stack your saving throws to the max, you will be one-shotted by Nocticulous Whale. Now, I do actually believe this battle is a lot harder on the Demon Path than Trickster, because for Trickster we only fight Nocticula by herself, and I already have a guide on how to do it. For Demon we also have to deal with these other demonic enemies here, and if you notice they're actually blocking the path, so the stairs leading up to Nocticula. Now this quest in particular actually has a lot of nice and unique dialogue that you can only get in the Demon Mystic Path, and many of Nocticula's lines are voiced, which is somewhat rare for the game. So this is why I've decided to showcase the cutscene events as well. So towards the end of this guide you can find all of the nice cutscenes, including how to betray and how to ally with Nocticula and also how to become her consort for her special romance. And if you don't care for the battle, you can just skip there, as I do have time chapters in this guide. But for now, let's start with the battle. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. First, as usual, we want Scylla to cast Mark of Justice. Nocticula on Unfair has 75 armor class, which isn't really high at this point. With Mark of Justice, we are sure to hit her with our demon character, who is in Merrily form, and has enough attack bonus to easily destroy Nocticula. Yes, it's not the Baylor form, as I will show you on my demon path soon, the Merrily form is by far the strongest, because we have a massive amount of attacks per round. So Mark of Justice with Scylla, don't forget to turn Demonic Rage on with your demon, I always forget to do this because of the limited uses. And for this battle we are using the aspect of Succubus, Baylor, Incubus, and also Sheer, all for more damage, and so our party members can also get a bit more to their attack rolls. So you might have noticed that immediately after battle starts, every single character in this battle, including Nocticula's allies and our demon allies, will be hit by her seductive presence ability. This is probably the best enemy crowd control ability in the game. It bypasses immunity to mind affecting, so there's really no way to become immune to this. So basically, you have to pass a saving throw off. It says 43 DC here, but that's wrong. The difficulty class is actually 59 on Unfair, which is massive. You know, the fun part is that Nocticula's seductive presence is so OP on Unfair that notice how all of the enemies, including her own allies and also our demon allies, fail the save, so they won't do anything. A seductive presence will fascinate anyone who fails the save. For a whole 44 rounds, basically the entire battle, if you fail the save, you're toast. That's why we need to stack saving throws as high as possible. After all, it will be a 59 fortitude check. And this is why pre-buffing before this battle is of extreme importance, to achieve very high saving throws. Remember to cast your low duration buffs before talking with Shamira, as this will initiate the battle so you won't get time to do it afterwards. Such as turning on Scald Rage or Bard Song, as not to waste time in battle. And one of the most important buffs to cast on your allies before battle starts is Vision of Madness saving throws. It will reduce your attack rolls, but for our main character, that's not going to matter because of how high our attack bonus is. And I also recommend you do it on Scylla so he can get her Mark of Justice with 100% of chances. The last ones go to Camellia and Darren, because they do have somewhat low fortitude by default. With this ability, your chances of making the save will increase by a lot. And also, the extremely useful fortune hacks, so that we get to roll twice and pick the best result. You absolutely need fortune on all of your characters before this battle starts, and I already have a guide on hexes explaining how you can maximize their use. And this is another reason why I really like the Shake It Off feat on all of my characters, to further increase their saving throws by a plus 4. Remember that during the game you will face certain effects that you cannot become immune against, although they tend to be extremely rare. Right, so let's see who failed here. Most of our characters made the save, unfortunately Darren, Camellia... <laughs> Camellia failed by 1. And our Scald also failed the saving throws. 
Sometimes not even fortune hacks can save you. Unfortunately, our scout is the one who, would, who was going to teleport us to where Nocticula is, so we'll have to move past the Matterlift. So to get there first with our demon, we'll have to use Demonic Charge. But we are limited to just a single attack with it, so we'll only be able to defeat Nocticula after a round passes, so we can full attack. I imagine this is one of the places where having the Dimension Door bot would help. But I expanded mine on the chapter 4 areas. Now, Sociel actually denied my Scald Rage. Also, he can use Guarded Hearth. Sociel will drop a Guarded Hearth, and our pets will only have to attack Nocticula. Let's send our pets to target the Merylifs, so we can move past them. Two here, and the other two here. So we already got Mark of Justice with Scylla, which is great. Now we can also tell her to attack one of the Merylifs. And you might have noticed as her first action, this is the same for the demon and trickster battles, Nocticula will actually cast Whale of the Banshee. And as you are about to see, well, if you don't make the save, you are going to be one shot. We are already teleporting to Nocticula for demon character. Just look at this. Her Whale of the Banshee on Unfair actually deals more than 1200 damage. There's simply no way not to die from this. This is why stacking saving throws is so important. She actually killed one of the Merylifs for us, as Whale has friendly fire. Notice how all of our characters actually made the save against her Whale. Even Darren who has the lowest fortitude, thanks to fortune hacks. Also, the save is only, well not only, it's still high, but it's 48 instead of her seductive presence which is 59, way higher than that. So it's a lot easier to make the save. So now the Merylif is dead, and everyone is free to head to where Nocticula because is. But I think our Merylif demon lord will be enough to destroy Nocticula. Let's see how it goes. And bam, we start attacking. And that was it! Nocticula in basically just a single round from our demon lord character. <laughs> and now let's just show Shamira who is the boss. Oh, we actually have to deal with the other characters too, like Valexia, Zephorian, Zeklex, and Yoss. Anyways, they're going to fall very fast. But let's focus on Shamira first. Remember to actually turn Demonic Rage on again, because theoretically the battle with Nocticula ended. We'll have to teleport to where Shamira is, as it's going to take a lot of time for our demon character to go there. <laughs> Shamira already exploded. And so did all of the other characters. That was fun. And now we are the true demon lord of the city. Our Amerilis model bugs out as we gain our mythic rank. You are power, you are inevitability. And all of the poor demons are now our servants and slaves, bowing before our true demonic power. So let's show them who's the real boss. We can't even properly see it on my relief form. And we now have our own demon army as a new ruler. Alright, so now that we've seen how we can kill both Nocticula and Shamira to become the sole demon ruler of Alushinira, let's see how this quest can go by either choosing to ally with Shamira or remain loyal to Nocticula, including her romance reward. So starting the quest is very simple. All you have to do is, well, basically, as soon as chapter 5 starts, the Yoss NPC will come and talk to you, then simply tell him to take you to Alushinira so we can meet with Shamira.
great delight in punishing traitors. Nothing brings me more satisfaction. And you have proven your worth, my loyal servant. It gave me great pleasure to watch you eliminate those pathetic renegades. Now get out, all of you. I wish to enjoy my victory alone. With my champion. Go to the harem of ardent dreams and... So, the battle is over. I'm glad that you made the right choice, mortal. You made the right choice. I will give you a reward fit for a king. Tell me, how should I reward you for Shamira's death? You can ask me for anything. Ah. I've always found you rather charming. And of course, you're obedient too. <laughs> your passion will strengthen your devotion. I'll grant you my special favor. I will make you my loyal consort. It seems that we will arrive at the harem later than expected. My subjects will just have to wait. <laughs> Don't be afraid, mortal. Come closer. You belong to me now. I will drain the life from you in one sweet kiss. And then I'll breathe it back into your body, to remember your taste forever. Citizens of Elushanira, Shamira the Ardent Dream was a traitor. She betrayed my trust, but she was too weak to stand against me. This mortal took her life. Her blood is on his hands, so heed my words. From now on, he will rule the city of Elushanira. I give him the authority to speak on my behalf. My wrath and my mercy are in his hands. Kneel before your new rule. From now on, this city is under your control. Rule it wisely and carefully. Of course, I don't expect you to abandon your affairs on Galarian, but you shouldn't neglect your responsibilities here. You may go, champion. You have earned my good favor. And from now on, all my subjects will recognize you as my second in command. They will follow you to Galarian, and help you to defeat the legions of Daskari and Baphomet. Why are you rebelling? Give in. Our Lady in Shadow knows what is good for you. Alright everyone, so this was it for my Nocticula and Shamira battle videos. I hope you've enjoyed this as a show of how powerful the demon path can be, especially the Merylith demonic form. If you've enjoyed this guide, then please support the channel if you can, by liking, subscribing and even becoming a member for some exclusive perks. Thank you for watching and see you next time, friends!